Let's solve this system of three equations in three unknowns. Choose two equations and eliminate a variable, and then choose any other two equations, and the key here is eliminate the same variable. Now I notice if I choose equations 1 and 2, I can eliminate the variable y without too much trouble. Let's go ahead and multiply the second equation by negative 1. So I'll rewrite the first equation. 3x minus 2y minus z is equal to negative 1. And then I'll multiply through by negative 1. So 2x times negative 1, that's negative 2x. This term by negative 1, that's plus 2y and then I have no term here, and then don't forget multiplying each term by negative 1, that equals negative 4. Let's add those two equations, 3x minus 2x is x, and then I have minus z is equal to negative 5. Now let's remember that equation, and let's go ahead and use this third equation, and I'll pair this equation with this equation. So make sure you write down that equation. x minus z is equal to negative 5. So I have x minus z is equal to negative 5. That comes from equations 1 and 2, and then I'll write down 2x minus 2z is equal to negative 5. 12. I'll concentrate on these two equations. Let me multiply the first equation through by negative 2. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. This term times negative 2, that's plus 2z. And this times negative 2, negative 5 times negative 2, that's positive 10. I'll rewrite that second equation. And let's see if we have eliminated the x's. Notice if we add the equations, not only do the x's subtract out, but so do the z's. And we have 0 is equal to negative 2, a false statement. And what does it mean when we have a false statement? It means that there is no solution to this system so the answer is the empty set. This system of equations has no solution.